over on Facebook. <clears throat> I'm a little, I don't know, I'm a little thrown off today. Here we go. Let's get this shared out. So today we're, we are talking about, <laughs> and here we go again with the live feed being interrupted. I thought I had all that fixed. All right, maybe it is. Um, we are talking about, no, it's not fixed. I really wish I knew what that was. All right, whatever. We're talking about not micromanaging the universe. And maybe for me today, it's trying to not micromanage my internet connection. I don't know. All right. So here's the deal. One of the problems with understanding energy and understanding that we have more control over things than we were told is we get to this point where we feel like nothing bad can ever happen then and where we can like magically control everything. It's beyond influence everything. Um, this is upsetting me. So, how do I want to say this? You know, it's like when you know that you can manifest, when you know that you can clear energy. When we're first taught all of this, right, we're taught from the space of, you know, you can have anything you want and you can. You absolutely can. But what we're taught is, yes, you can have anything you want, but it doesn't mean, but we're not taught that it doesn't, that, that, that you actually will get it. The thing is, we go through life, we make decisions every day that are going to bring us closer to what we want, farther away from what we want. Sometimes, sometimes our fears get in the way too much. Sometimes our fears kind of keep us from being able to take the steps that we need to take in a timely manner. I mean, time does run out on certain things. It just does. If you're a woman, let's say, who wants to, and if you're watching this on Facebook and the feed keeps getting interrupted, join me over on IG on Robin John or Rosenhouse. Or wait until the replay, because the replay comes out fine. Anyway, if you're, you know, if you're a woman and you want to get pregnant, let's say, biologically speaking, the way things are at the current time is there comes a time, comes a point of time in your life where you physically are not going to be able to get pregnant. After menopause, your body is not where it needs to be so that you can physically get pregnant and carry a baby. So we have to remember that time does run out. But what happens is we try to control everything so, so much that we lose sight of the fact that there are things in the universe that we can't control. We can't control other people. And so what happens is when you try to micromanage everything, the universe, your life, everything, you lose time. You lose time that you could have used to focus on areas of your life that you do have control over. There's a reason we have the serenity prayer. So today's energy, what it's talking about is you are, especially today, you are moving in 
to a period of time where things are going to feel challenging and it can trigger some of your fear-based responses and you have the potential to all of a sudden start you know telling the universe telling god whatever you know whoever it is you talk to um exactly how you want things to be like exactly how you want them to happen and you're forgetting that you can handle these challenges because the challenges have the potential to bring you to where you want to be. But when you start, this is where the, the threat comes in to, for you today or the, the danger zone comes in for you today. If you start to, you know, um, fight against the challenges, you're not gonna have the energy that you need to get through to the other side. And the other side is where the gift is. So it's really important to watch for that today. And, you know, the thing is, you have, like, you have the capability to make it through this today, for sure. Today, tomorrow, whenever. And it begins with being real about yourself. It begins with being real to yourself. Where am I trying to control things that are out of, that are not part of, you know, not in my control? Where am I resisting my part in this? The actions that I need to take so that I can grow and have what it is I want. That's a big thing today too. Okay, so it's more about today being real about your response than it is about trying to control everything. Things will work out if you let them. Today, today, it's all about the serenity prayer. It really is. And, uh, you know, and always, what do I talk to you about always? Show me the truth that will set me free. Show me the truth about this situation. Show me the truth that will set me free so that I know what's in my control and what's not in my control so that I can put my energy in the most appropriate place that will increase my probabilities of having a beneficial outcome. That's, that is the most important thing you can do for yourself today. Like I was thinking about something, you know, myself this morning, I was, I was talking to somebody yesterday and um, they said something to me and I immediately like went into fixer mode. And it's like, later on, I was like, that's not what they asked for. They were just sharing something. They didn't ask me to fix it. I didn't ask if they wanted it to be fixed. I don't even know the whole story. And here I am telling them what to do. And I had to be real with myself. You know, I get so used to being in coaching mode and being in teacher mode that sometimes I forget to be in friend mode. That's one of the, the spaces or one of like the things that that you want to look at about yourself and be real about yourself. So if you are somebody who's, you know, got all the answers all the time or, or seems like it, pay attention to your interactions because that's a form of controlling things. 
when we go in and immediately want to fix things for people and tell them what to do so that they don't have to deal with whatever this is that's in front of them without being asked we're trying to control things we feel bad because they feel bad and we don't want to feel bad and we don't want them to feel bad but what if they need to what if they need to figure this out for themselves we get ourselves into a lot of trouble with our big heart and our desire to serve. That is one of the ways we're trying to control and micromanage the universe. And what if that energy that you spent, even if it was just a little bit, trying to solve their problem before you even knew if they wanted it to be solved, was the last bit of energy you had for the day. And then something showed up for you and you were drained because you gave everything away when it wasn't your thing to fix or heal or help with. These are the things we need to look at. These are areas of our life where we do try to micromanage everything. And this is how we block our own manifestations, our own success, our own happiness, and our own joy. So be real with yourself today. Do some self-reflection. And ask yourself, ask yourself, before you go and try to control or fix something, is this mine to do? Show me the truth that will set me free so that I only put my energy in the most appropriate spaces that will allow me to have the most peace, joy, and happiness possible. And if you want more help with stuff like this, definitely, definitely, energy clearing helps. So you can join us in the monthly clearing club over at robinjrosenhouse.com slash MCC, MCC for Monthly Clearing Club. We are going to be clearing uh, the energy of new beginnings, the resistance to new beginnings, the fear of new beginnings, the ability to say yes to new beginnings. That's what we're going to be clearing for the month of September. So go check out robinjrosenhouse.com slash MCC. Come join us. I'd love to see you in there. And I would love to be a part of, if you want it, you being set free from your limitations so that you can have the joy and the happiness and the freedom and the business and the life that you want. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. This is Robin Jana Rosenhouse. Remember, when you align your energy, you accelerate your results. I'll see you tomorrow.